You may notice lots of four-legged guests in your office today. Yes, this is Take Your Dog to Work Day, and thousands are expected to bring in their furry friends. But in addition to this being a fun perk, it could actually benefit your company's bottom line. Susan Solovic, the small business expert and advocate with the SBE Council, shares why it might be a smart idea to let your business go to the dogs. <laughs> That's right. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm so happy to see that you brought in Maxwell. Yes, Maxwell's chairman of the bone in my company, <laughs> yes. So since you are the head of your company, every day is bring your dog to work day for you, right? It is, I mean, it is, <laughs> right, exactly. So you're an advocate of this. What benefits have you seen it bring? Well, you know, it's really interesting. There's research that shows that allowing dogs in the in the workplace, or even pets, but we're talking about dogs today, uh, can really, it can reduce stress, it improves morale, productivity, which of course goes to your bottom line. But the CDC also did a study that found that dogs in the workplace can help reduce high blood pressure and cholesterol, just because people are a little more active, they're getting exercise, they feel better. So, I mean, I lots of benefits. Yeah. I, I'm all for it, but of course, there, there have to be some rules in place, right? right? This can't just be a free-for-all with, with dogs and cats running right. around, correct? Exactly, right. So the first thing you want to do, Tanya, is make sure your entire team is on board. Right. So, you know, if you've got somebody who has allergies or who's afraid of dogs, then that's just not going to work out. Right. And you also want to set some parameters on what types of animals. Like, I saw a Great Dane at the vet the other day. I mean, it's like a little horse, you know? <laughs> I mean, you sure wouldn't want somebody bringing their pet boa constrictor to the office. So. I could deal with a, a yeah. Great Dane. I'm not so sure I could deal with a boa constrictor, but I'm okay with a Great Dane. Now, do you have to then have somebody who sort of polices your animal program? How would that work? Right. It's a good idea to set up the rules, but then have like a sort of a policing committee mm -hmm. and have that be your team members because it sort of keeps the stress out of it. So, you know, you want to, so I have like his little crate over here, right. his travel bag. You want to make sure that you have some place to put the pet when you have to be away from your office so the pet doesn't roam around or get stressed yeah, you out. You can tell your coworker, hey, can you watch Maxwell for a while right, while exactly. I go to a meeting? Right. For instance. You also want to make sure the dog is well socialized. You don't want growling and you don't want lots of barking. And then the other thing, is, I mean, they're dogs, right? Accidents do happen. So you want to have cleaning supplies around to take care of that. And a lot of companies like have a three strike rule. Your dog messes up three times, you're out. You're out. Now, are there some businesses for which this is just not appropriate? I mean, if you work in the food industry, let's say. Food industry, that's an obvious one. Um, also, if you have a lot of foot traffic, so a retail store maybe, um, or a lot of customers or clients coming in. One company I talked to, however, they have a retail area, but then they have a back office and a warehouse. And in that area, they let the pets come in, but I, not in the front. I love it. Though. Yeah. Finally, is there any liability for a business if you have pets around? Certainly. You want to make sure that you check your insurance policy in case something would happen. If an employee would get harmed or a customer or client might get harmed, you want to make sure that everything is covered. Absolutely. But still, yes. just look at that face. I, I mean, know. How can you argue with that face? <laughs> is this just a perk that smaller businesses can offer that larger ones, like perhaps Dow Jones, Right, can't? right. <laughs> exactly. You know, it is so true. Small Small businesses have found that this is a great, attractive perk to offer to employees. Uh, I mean, who wouldn't love to bring their dog to work, right? I'm telling day? you, I'm borrowing <laughs> Maxwell today. Susan's no, you can't have him. He's my baby. <laughs> we'll battle it out for him. Thank All you right, so much thanks. for that.